All right, man. Welcome back to another episode of the Phantom Experience Podcast. I got my special guest, up and coming R and B and soul singer Nikita. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing today? I'm blessed and highly favored. How are you? Yes, ma'am. I'm blessed as well. That's um, good. I always like to start off, you know, asking how you doing on a scale of one to ten, physically, mentally, emotionally. Scale of one to ten, I'm I'm on ten right now. I can't <laughs> complain. Yeah. I thank God He woke me up this morning, so. That's I give him all the glory for that, so I can't complain. Ten. So ten on all scales, yeah. like physically, mentally, emotionally. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm pretty good. You know, I feel like I don't always try to get too high and never get too low, yeah. especially like everything that we're both trying to accomplish and yes. just being creators. Like, I feel like we all are just you just got to keep going. Like it's a thing where it's like you can't like you can't be happy all. I mean, I just say necessarily like happy all the time, but mm. you just can't always like always. Be life happens. Saying. You know what I'm saying? Life happens. Yeah, you know life saying? happens. And then on us on top of that, us trying to be like you know what I'm saying first generation. You know mm -hmm. from where we come from doing mm -hmm. this shit. Like yeah, that's very true. Yeah. So um, let's talk about your life before you know what I'm saying you wanted to be into music. Like okay, who were you? What were you trying to accomplish? Um. I was trying to accomplish music. Uh, Even going, prior, like, so this has always been a music thing for this you. This is, it's always been music. I've never really tapped into, like, you know, how everybody's like, oh, I'm going to go to college for this, that, and that. Yeah. I'm in college, but, yeah, you know, my main priority was I know that I have a gift, so I want to use it. So um, when did you realize at what age that she was like, I have a <sighs> gift for this, like, music thing? I want to say... I'm going to say seven is when I started singing, but I I know it's been since I could start walking, so like probably three, four. That's crazy. Yeah, so I remember writing a song, trash song, to my mom. <laughs> I was like, Mom, listen to the song. And she was like, that song's already out. And I was like, <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah. And that's that, that was at seven? Yeah, and so, then I took off. So even at seven, what drove you to like want to even start picking up the mic and just like recording? Um, just being around a very, very musical family. My family was always singing, mom mm. and dad always singing. Uh, they even put us into, uh, at an early age, put us into like lessons, piano mm. lessons, things like that. So you know how to play piano? No. Well, oh. now I do, but um, at first they put me in lessons for drums. Mind you, I already knew how to play the drums, yeah. but they just wanted me to read sheet music. Yeah. So um, I did that, which was a waste of money. Why you say that? Uh, because, uh, I mean... I feel like everything happens for a reason. Yeah. But why would you say it was a waste of money? Only because it's like, I could have used... I could have did something else. Because I already know how... Being that I already knew how to play the drums. Yeah. I could have just simply learned how to better my voice at that time. Or play the piano. Things like that. But, you know. So, early... So, some of, like, your early ages, who were you, like, like listening to at an early age? Mm, Michael Jackson. Mm. Yes. That was in the household. That like was like playing everyday type. Yes, type for real. Like <laughs> when he passed away, it was so depressing. It was. It was, it was depressing. Like, and I was, I was, I don't know how old we were. It was like probably two thousand nine. Yeah, I think so, I was like ten. I yeah, know, I was like nine, nine, ten. So the way I grieved was very interesting. And how um, was that? I went and uh, printed out a whole bunch of Michael Jackson songs <laughs> and was singing them and crying. It was yeah. bad, but Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's crazy because. Yeah, at that time, like, I really didn't know what was going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, bro, I just remember, like, on TV, every channel was just Michael Jackson died. Yes. Like, Michael Jackson died. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. But That was, like, the first time I saw my dad cry. And I was like. That shit's mm. crazy. Because he was very transcendent. Yeah. It's Michael Jackson. Like, yeah. But apart from Michael Jackson, who was some other people that early early time coming up that she was listening to? It was a lot of gospel in the household. But to say anybody else. I'm, I'm going to say Juanita Bynum because that's the name that's popping up in my head. Who? Juanita Bynum, mm. gospel singer. You got to look into it. It's yeah, you got to. You got me. You gotta, I'll be I telling my you. artists, people who come up here. I, like, got I, gotta, I feel like some people won't like it because, you know, for certain tastes of music, it's acquired. Yeah. You have to listen to it for some time or it has to hit like a, um, yeah. a milestone in your life or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Juanita Bynum for sure for me. Um, hmm, Beyonce. Of course. Beyonce, that was my sister's my favorite sister, artist. Yeah, she would always play and I was always around my older sister, so yeah. it was always hearing B. Did you uh mm -hmm. did you listen to Destiny Child? Yes. Destiny Child. <laughs> all like we my sister had all the CDs and she had this C D player. Yeah. And she was always playing these songs back to back. I knew all of them. And I was always singing more and more and that's when mm -hmm. know, things started becoming surface level. Yeah. Parents. So at 
what age, you know what I'm saying, did you first make your first song? Like, after, like, let's say high school, around that time. Because you put out a song in 2018. Mm -hmm. Was that the first single that you ever put out? Yeah, in 2018. That was my first drop. I wanted to try to get one in during high school, but I was like, "Mm, yeah, I need to build my craft. So that was like college? Yeah, freshman year. Freshman year of college, we took off with the first single. Yeah, and I was I was telling you off camera, like, I really, really do like that song. Even though Thank I'm saying you, you kind of have, I guess, mixed reviews on your own yeah. song. Like, yeah, I, I feel like, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, with, like, just how you, your music, like, bro, I, the guy, Ralph, mm-hmm. I told him, I was like, wow, like, this girl can really He do. told me, uh, let you hear the song. Yeah, he did, he did. It's that crazy, song is it's crazy. Fire. Like, no cap. And I'm not even saying this to your face, because, like, you hear, like, on me. Yeah. Like, you can really, 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 really sing. Thank and that's you, like a really like God. really amazing like thank you so much no when i sent that verse to ralph i was unsure about it i was like i don't know here i don't know yeah this guy was screaming i was like huh you like it i was like ralph <laughs> no it's funny because when he were he was like bro this whole was crazy like you gotta listen to him and his oh, yeah. friends i was listening to him i, was I like, can't nah. wait till it drops yeah so it's what good. inspired you to, you know what i'm saying to make streets love me mm. your latest song i believe the inspiration came yeah, from behind that. Can we curse on here? You can do everything you want. Okay. Here. <laughs> well, my mom might see this, so I'll hold my tongue. <laughs> but um, I was I, I stumbled across some uh, f boy tactics, mm. and uh, the only thing is, is that it was supposed to be no strings attached. Yeah. Like I wasn't trying to date or anything like that, but he was. Mm. And I made it very clear I wanted to be single, but, you know, he started getting attached, started falling in love with a kid. So, you kid got to go because the streets love me. <laughs> streets love the kid, but all jokes aside, that's where it stemmed from. Just, that's where all my music stems from, my experiences. So. Yeah, which is, which is very dope. I feel like I hate when people try to make music for who, like, for experiences that they didn't go through. Like, how yeah. do you even do that? Because it's not even real. Like, I was yeah. like... You know what I mean? Like I do that sometimes, but not. I know the way you mean. But like, it can't be your whole. Yeah. Fucking catalog. Like, yeah. You yeah. Like, at least we some need shit some, has to be some like real. Sh- yeah, you know what I mean. Some real sh- you know what I mean? Like, how could it be authentic or like, you know what I'm saying? How could exactly. people even like vibe with you if they're if mm-hmm. you're not showing them if like it's the not real who you. you really are? Yeah. You we got I mean? a lot of those in the industry right now. Exactly. But hey, ain't nobody gonna say nothing. Hey, I mean, if, as long as I mean, people feel like if they're making the money. Exactly. Who am I to say, hey? Exactly. You know exactly. So, like, what's your creative process in, like, you know what I'm saying, making songs? I need to be alone. I need it to be extremely quiet. Like, ooh, quiet. Mm-hmm. I, I hate noise when it comes to writing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, quietness, a fire beat, and a story. And I just take off from there sometimes i'll be recording on my on my phone you know different melodies yeah and then i'll hear something and it's like that sounds like a word and i write it down and that's you know yeah. that's my little process <laughs> but yeah, so fun. what um musicians have it like impacted nikita and in, in, in your music mm, i i take a lot from everybody i soak up as much as possible i'm i'm a student as well as a teacher as well so i like to soak up everything everything yeah. i listen to so i can't really put it on one artist or yeah okay so couple. just give me like you know a plethora of like artists that you really like michael jackson mm-hmm. um and include like new artists like of today because mm. i did ask you already about the old okay okay michael jackson i'm gonna throw beyonce in there mm-hmm. uh today you like jenny aiko jenny aiko's fire but I, I don't know. Whenever I go through my creative process, I don't like to listen to music at all. Yeah. So, um, but people that have uh, inspired me today. If any. It might not be any. It's a lot. So, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't put my finger on what, like, I say SZA. SZA. Writing-wise. Her, her writing is crazy. Her. her. Okay. Her. Yes. Her and SZA. Those are those the are the main. main two. Yeah. Yes. What is it about her them is... that they like her that you take away from them that puts you into your okay and your music? Well, for SZA, it has to do with her writing. I know some people try to say I can't understand what she's saying, but yeah. if you actually 
read the lyrics. It's fire. She's telling the story, things like that. It goes, it's like on some Frank Ocean, not making sense, yeah. but it's a deeper meaning. Facts. Yeah. So, and then with her, she's just like a mu- musical genius to me. Mm-hmm. Um, she plays the drums, guitarist, pianist, all of that. And multi talented. Yes. So they all, even with Michael Jackson, when it comes to him and his creative process down to the producing that's what really yeah. that's what i love about music it's not only the performance it's really about the production so so yeah. like you like you really really like the production side like yes do you production. like have you ever thought about like you know what i'm saying creating beats is that ever been, like something for you that you want this to do? song is coming out oh soon i made the beat can we get a date on that or you when you drop in, tell you I cannot tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you because I'm not even sure myself. I'm still trying to figure that out with my team. And how stuff. does that even happen? Like y'all just pick a random day, be like, "Hey, we're gonna drop this day." I pray about it. I pray about it, and usually God reveals a day to me, or it's a day that's just pressing, pressing in my mind. And yeah. I'm, I'm like, "Yep, that's the day." That's something I also wanted to ask you about because, like, you know, what I'm saying, even me having you like on social media, you're all like, you're very. Um, God is very impactful in your life. Like oh, you yeah. make that very known. Yes. So like, where because, where did you like your religion and how did that come from? Well, um, I've always been in a religious family. Mm-hmm. So growing up, and I've always been in the church. But um, I just I want to say that I just found Christ myself in 2019 because you know how your parents force you to yeah, go to yeah. church you're not really paying attention yeah you just want to go home you tired yeah. you just want to go back home and play video games yeah so i just recently found him 2019 because i want to say that was one of my hardest years um like where were you like battling it was in the family a lot going on in mm. the family but god seen us through yeah. and that's when i found him because i was like I don't know where to put my faith. No more, like, nothing else. I can't put my faith in humans. Yeah. They fail me. So, I mean, like, what so. what, what from that situation made you come out and say, like, I'm really going to, like, believe in God? Like, I, I know that's real. When he pulled up in my dream. Mm. Yeah, he pulled up. Like, it was a, it's going to be a, I don't want it to be a long story, but he pulled yeah. up in my dream and uh, revealed himself to me. So, yeah. after that, I was like, yep. You're I'm, real. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, like, I feel like because people aren't open about, like, you know what I'm saying, they're, like, yeah. Christianity or whatever, like, you believe in. Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel like there is, like, there is a guy, like, I'm a Christian, yeah. too, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. everybody goes through, like, hardships in life, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, especially as you get older, like, yeah. and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, like, as long as you have faith in God or whoever yeah. you believe to, I don't know who, mm-hmm. like, that, whoever listens to this, whatever yeah. you believe in, like, you got to have faith in your creator, man. Exactly. Because it doesn't make do. sense to yeah, I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a higher that. power, bro. Like, yes, there has to be. But at the same time, I don't want to go deep in that. I don't want to go deep in that. Please. People got to start coming. You know what I mean? Hey. Yeah, bro. Like, hey. But anyways, like I said, um, any album dates, EPs, singles? Uh, well, you do have a show next week. Yes, Come I have on. a show on the 28th with The Vibes mm-hmm. and a whole bunch of crazy, crazy artists. Who else are Who else is? Um, I believe Ralph is supposed to be performing. Yeah. Um... And then where's the venue too? That's gonna be at George Bush Park. Okay. Yeah, George Bush Park. Everybody, everybody should be there. Be yeah. Square. Um, I know JD Your, um, one eight hundred Alpha. Oh, one eight hundred Love Alpha. Sorry, Alpha. Um, a lot of Nalik. A lot. Yeah, it's a, a lot, lot of crazy. Yes, yeah, a lot of dope people. A lot of dope people. Dope artists. Sorry if I miss your name. Don't butcher me. Yeah, it's all good, bro. I'm I'm gonna look at the flyer because I did see your name on the flyer. I just can't remember off the top of my head yeah. who's all like performing there, but yeah. I'm definitely gonna try to be in attendance. I told Ralph. You better be. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come focus y'all, man. So, Phantom Q and A time. Oh man. I ask questions. You give answers. Okay. Sierra or Shanti? Sierra. Why? I grew up on Sierra too. I should have mentioned Sierra. Yeah, I was like, see? Yeah, Sierra, they be trying to sleep on my girl. No, like, they be sleep. She cold. No, she's cold. She's very cold. All right. Faith Evans or Aaliyah? Aaliyah. Mm, why? Aaliyah is crazy. A lot of people love Aaliyah. And honestly, hey, my people who watch it don't kill me. But like, hey, I just recently got put on like a lot of music. Recently? Recently. I might have to cut that out. I might go. <laughs> I have you been under a rock? You've been nah, under. You've I'm been under a rock. rock. <laughs> you've been under a rock. I just. I don't know. For some reason, I'm just in, like. I just listen to like. She just, wasn't supposed to die. Nah, of course she died she way too prematurely. She, what? 
I don't know how the world would even be if she was still alive. They said she's going to be crazy to Beyonce. That's what somebody told me. That's what somebody told me. I don't know, though. I don't know either. I don't know. Beyonce pretty crazy. Yeah. But Aaliyah has had so much potential at such a young age. And she was crazy. Crazy with the the choreo, yeah. the songs, melodies, everything. Just amazing. So you had you had um, Aaliyah on that one? Yeah. All right. Alicia Keys or Mariah Carey? Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys? Yeah. All right, Janae Aiko or Kalani? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll be hoping when I make these questions that people really think, because I'll be yeah, wanting to be like, damn. Because, mm, dang, okay. I'm going to say, ooh, I'm going to say Janae. Janae? Yeah. I love Jenny. I ain't gonna yeah. Lie. She be talking her shit. She do, but Kaylani be talking her shit. She too. do, she do too. But I yeah. just, Janae, I don't know. It's something about Jenny that just makes me want to buy with her more. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, no, yeah. She's just fire. No, Janae is dope. But, anyways, man, I appreciate you for coming on. Um, um, everybody, July, I want to say July, what's that? July 28th? 28th, yeah. Come out to George Bush Park if you can. Um, go stream her new single, her yeah. latest single. Streets Love Me. Yes, ma'am. Please, can we get an album date before we go? Uh, EP date, a song release date, something? No. Like, I gotta I get can't. something out of you. Okay. Um, can you give me a month? Or? November. November? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I just threw a number. I just threw something out there. You threw something out there? Yeah. All right. November, November. All but anyways, right. thank you so much for watching. For my people who continuously watch and subscribe to me, please subscribing. Please keep subscribing. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you so much.